Hi, it's Mr. O'Mara here and I'm joined by my resident video game expert. How are you, Finn? Good, thank you, Dad. We've nearly had some rage quitting, haven't we, because this software's been making our life very difficult. This is, I think, the third time we've tried to record this. I'm about to explode. Yeah, no, it's been pretty frustrating. Okay, let's have a look. The principles of game design, and these are the same principles that my students learn from Snowman Videos, who's a YouTuber. Thank you, Mr. Snowman. And he talks so quickly. Okay. Here we have, in fact, our video is covering. He's covering that. That's so annoying. Okay. Um, so, we've got the accomplishment principle. The accomplishment principle is that you work really hard to win, and because you have to work for it, and because you have to puzzle it out and keep trying, you feel really good. Uh, what's a game you felt really good about winning, Finn? Because you've had to try and try. Ocarina of Time. I felt so good for finally defeating Ganon, even though he's going to come back. I The one I remember feeling fantastic about was the Super Mario one, where it was like on a disc that tipped and stuff that Bowser kept jumping on and you had to butt slam it to tip him off. Oh, in Sunshine. Was that in Sunshine, was it? Man, that took me so many times to get. And I think, you know, it's good to work hard for your wins in video games. Okay, let's jump forward. So the motivational punishment principle. Basically, if you don't make your user suffer a little bit, they're not going to have that sense of accomplishment. Uh, what's a standard way to, um, to punish the user, Finn? By sending them back to the start of the level or the save point. Or if you want them to rage quit all the way back to the start of the game. But that's only if you are really, really good at video games and want lots of rage quitting. Uh, how does um how does Minecraft punish you for making bad decisions? You lose everything. Your items, your armor, everything but your dog. Well, if you die, is that yep. what you mean? Mm-hmm. But I guess if you're just not careful generally, you just don't get to build what you want to build, do you? Yeah, you've got a plan in advance, or be careful when you're trying to mine redstone over lava. That always kills you. Okay, well, there you go. That's some, punish some learning right there, some motivational punishment. Okay, the Growing Stronger Principle. This guy with the red hat here, what's he do for you, Finn? Well, when you grab him, he makes you bigger. There you go. You can't get any growing stronger than that, can you? Um, other things that happen in games, in fact, how can you grow stronger in Minecraft? By crafting armour. By having armour. Armour's common in lots of combat games. Extra skills, I know in the Zelda games you get like different swords. I think you get the Master Sword at some point. Um, you get a magic levels, you get extra hearts and things. There's lots and lots of ways you can make your your, um, your player or your character stronger. Uh, and I guess, do you, is it, does it feel good when you power up? Very. I remember feeling really good when I finally crafted iron armor. I was like, I've got iron. I've got iron. Yeah, yeah alright. Enough for the singing. Alright, so, teaching without teaching. This um, is an example from Mario 64. It's actually a bit of a mixed example because I don't know that this does this beautifully. It, when you get to the doors, it tells you you need more stars. Um, I think they could just not open the door, maybe have the number on there, and you just work out that you don't have enough stars. But, um, but this is a few years ago now. Maybe we can trust users a bit more to work stuff out those days. Um, what sort of instructions does Minecraft give you, Finn? Nothing. All it gives you is you've got square everything. Okay. Yeah, I think one of the really strong things about Minecraft is the teaching with our principle and also the kind of peer teaching principle. Like, how do you know how to craft things? Well, you figure it out because you think, okay, a bow is shaped sort of like a triangle on its side, but I need to put some string in between. Mm -hmm. So where do you get the string? By killing arachnids. A what? Spiders. Oh, arachnids. I'm all for killing spiders. That's fine. All right, let's move on. Um, the isolation principle. Now, this is a Goomba, is that right? Yeah, Goomba. And as you can, when you meet him for the first time, and this is very early in Mario 64, um, he's, um, he's on his own. So don't throw new enemies at people all together. Let them meet them on their own so they can work out how to defeat them. And later on, throw them in for a bit of a challenge. Um, apparently, Minecraft doesn't do this. Apparently, you can have all sorts of bad things happen to you at once. Well, when you start off in, on your first night, if you go into large areas, you're doomed. But 
usually it's likely for you to get cornered by a creeper or a zombie or a skeleton and just not know what to do. Yeah, but you know, it doesn't hold off and just expose you to creepers. or They can all attack you at once, can't they? Yeah, unless okay. you're strategic. That actually happens in some games. Okay, that's a bit of motivational punishment for you, but clearly Minecraft isn't using the isolation principle in that way, so you don't have to use all these principles. Uh, the hidden reward principle. Uh, I remember... Last time we recorded this, I was saying that when Finn... I can't remember, it was a game you played, but you just rushed straight through it. You never stopped to pick up everything. I think that was Lego Star Wars. Actually, it was Lego Star Wars. <laughs> There's all those little things, those little dots. They don't do anything. I wanted you to collect them. Because <laughs> I go around everywhere and I, I want them all. I don't even know. I think you get some kind of power up. Some kind of growing stronger, but you, it, it's it, very far off, and I cared and you didn't. So it it gives you tons of them. It's very complicated. Dad, something adults will not understand. So do you now go and look for hidden treasure? Yeah, if I'm in a dungeon, I say, okay, there's a couple of doors. I'll check all of these. Okay. The silent storytelling principle. We're not going to spend much time on. Basically, don't bore people with with long blocks of text about what's going on. Just let them experience the story by playing the game. Just tell them, you have to save the world. Now go and save it. Pretty much. Yeah, I don't like long cutscenes. Some people tell me there's some good cutscenes around. Do you like them, Finn? Um, only when they're motivational and they're not just you sitting having this emotionless text about who keeps the chicken. Man, I just can I cannot abide to cutscenes. But at the end of the Mario games, when they show you all the credits with these kind of vaguely story-related videos, and it goes for about 20 minutes. It drives me bonkers, and you can't quit from it or anything. I don't like it at all. Uh, and the real morality principle is the last one. Um, here, here, Link is, and he's, of course, going to bust open all of those <laughs> earthen pots. Um, how do you reckon that would work out for you in real life, Finn? Um, I'll end up going to Kid Court. You would end up going to Kid Court. Um, uh, Snowman suggests, and I'm inclined to agree, it's probably a good idea. I mean, I kind of like being able to do antisocial things in games, but it does add a level of complexity to a game if you put real-world morality in it, where if you do things wrong, you pay a price for it. Actually, you were telling us last time we filmed this about an example of this. Yeah, I go into a guy's house in Minecraft. He, a guy got, the player got pretty annoyed. Was and this on a realm or something? Yeah, he killed me. Oh, well, fair enough. I guess you shouldn't be barging into other people's houses. All you right. have diamonds. Oh, well. All right, that's the end of our video. Thanks very much. I hope you got the hang of these principles now. Bye.